Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Develop Code Hunt. After fighting with the, uh, I think, 10th task of the 11th sector, or the 12th sector actually, in the last episode, I actually figured out that solving this task uh, brought me the 15th place on the uh, top Code Hunters rank list. So now I'm on the first page and there's only 14 more people to surpass even though I think that the first two here, this Fegor and Rafa, are not to be beaten because I, since they have exactly the same uh, score, the same number of levels and the same uh, skill level, I guess these two just managed to finish all the tasks at top score. So I guess best I can do uh, for now is uh, pass by to the third rank, which would actually be already quite great. So let's get started with the next task and see that we can beat them. Twelfth sector, that was right, tenth task finished last time, so two tasks to go. Let's get started. We have again a not very helpful message up here. We get in an array of integer and we're supposed to return an array of integer. And let's see what that is. Um, okay, we get in an empty array, we suppose to return an empty array, that's easy. If there's one value, value we are apparently supposed to return that one value. It looks like sorting, actually. It looks like we're supposed to sort this array. Okay, so let's implement some sorting here. Let's say and i equals zero, i smaller, a dot length, i plus plus. And then we go from int j equals i plus one, j smaller, a dot length, j plus plus, and say whenever um, whenever AI is bigger than AJ, it's going to be a simple bubble sort. Um, then I want to, it's just right, I want to store AI in a temporary variable. I want to override AI by AJ and I want to set AJ to temp. Then we're going to return A. This should sort the array and hopefully solve this task. Let's see. Looks fine so far. Man, there's quite some test cases generated here. Interesting. Sorting seems to be complicated. I'm excited to see the skill rating he gives me for this bubble sort implementation. Come on, give me something. Cannot be too hard to verify that this simple bubble sort actually does a sorting. I kind of feel that this does not give me the best skill rating. Um, because, I mean, it's two nested loops and conditional in there, so there's a lot of... Yeah, as I guessed, um, this does not give me the best rating. So let's stay here and continue for a while to see if it can do better. Is there an array sort? I, I, I'm not allo allowed to use the arrays. Uh, static helpers. So let's see what else can we do here to sort more quickly. I think in C sharp there's a sort method on the array class actually, and I should be able to use that. But for Java, I cannot just try it out. Import Java util arrays. I think there's the the sort thing. Arrays dot sort a. Does this work? 
<laughs> this actually works. Um, so of course this solution is way easier than the solution I implemented myself. Gives me the full the full skill rating. So okay, I'm content with this solution. <laughs> Still kind of funny. Okay, so let's get on to the na uh, the last task of this section, which is actually the twelfth one. Um, we get in a string array and are supposed to return a string array and 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 this is always the same. I would say this is again sorting, isn't it? So let's just see um, import Java util arrays arrays dot sort a let's see if that works out cannot be applied to the given type interesting so apparently um, I cannot sort strings with arrays dot sort seriously I kinda doubt that what's the what's the Java Arrays. So no, the Java doc. This one here sort sort stuff. Why can why it should be able to use this one? Um. Okay. This might be a problem of the mapping between Java and C sharp. You need to fix, yeah, okay. I can fix that easily enough. Yeah, this will break at some point, I know. Come on finish be done with it not wow it's impressive how complex sorting is <laughs> anyways can I switch I can switch and I think did it switch I'm not sure I'm going out and in again just to make sure everything works yeah so apparently he did not array dot sort does it work this way I'm not entirely sure may also be array dot sort like in the Java version let's see if that works yes on the C sharp side this works quite well so apparently there's really some strange mapping going on sad enough but it solves our task and with that it solves the 12th sector of code hunt. So next time we're going to start with uh, sector 13 ciphers. This is it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If not, drop me a comment or send me a message. Let me know what you think. And have a look at my channel and the other things I'm doing. Maybe there's something interesting for you. So this is goodbye for now and hope to see you next time.